Well, sanitary pads are a necessity to every woman. But unfortunately, for some girls, a pad has become a luxury they can't afford. Now, according to a study done by the United Children's Fund this year, it estimates that one in ten schoolgirls in Africa miss school every month while on their period. It's for this reason that a project called Dignity Dreams was established as a provider of sanitary pads. And to tell us more about this is the founder of Dignity Dreams, uh, Sandra Miller. She's sitting with me in studio. Sandra, appreciate your time. Thanks very much for joining us. Give us an overview uh, of what this is all about. Thank you very much, Peter. Um, I, th I wanted to uh, provide young girls with sanitary wear, but I wanted to give them something that was pretty and feminine. Mm. So I, I, we, we try to make, we, we've made sanitary towels that are pretty, feminine, and look good. Mm. They last for five years. They cost 140 rand. Um, we're on a huge Christmas drive, because okay. I want to get a 1,000 mm. girls' mm. Uh, pads. Mm. Who so makes we, those? Um, I... When we started this project, we also decided that we would train unemployed people mm. to, to, to do the sewing for us. Mm. So not only are we helping school girls, but we've now got 25 previously unemployed women working, uh, uh, making these sanitary right. towels. Right. So, you know, it, it spreads. It's, we, we're trying to... I, I can't solve the world's problems, but we're trying our level best to, to make an impact on their lives. Well, Sandra, you've had some horrific experiences. I mean, without going into too much detail, <laughs> why, um, why have you done this? You know, I, um, I met um, a few young girls in Hroskop and um, not having children of my own, um, I casually ask them, as most of us do, do they like sanitary towels or tampons? And I was met with this vacant stare of horror, and they said, no, what is that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, socks, twigs, uh -huh. rags. And uh, Peter, I was, I was devastated. I was angry with myself because, mm. you know, being an African, I should know about these problems, mm. and I didn't. Mm. So I, I, I also can't sew, by the way. <laughs> so if anybody shouldn't have done it, it mm. was me. But I was determined on that day that I was going to find a way to, to, to get... The, you know, when these girls enter womanhood, it should be a time of joy. Mm. It should be a celebration. It shouldn't be a time time when they're frightened, they're alone, mm. and for various reasons, nobody's t telling them what's happening. Mm. So we also, when we see the girls, we try and give them a little talk about menstrual health mm. and how to look after their bodies. Mm. And um, so we, we're trying girl, uh, girl put at a time to, uh, um, and, and they love it. I mm. must tell mm. you, the surveys yeah. we get mm. back, the girls love it. Mm. So, In the rural areas, how do yes. they get their hands on one of those? Oh, oh, oh one, was, yeah. one of the clever things I did was um, um, some of the questions the girls ask me in our question and answer time are so sensitive and so horrific that I can't answer those questions. So I now take a social worker with me so that the social worker can spot a girl at risk and she can do a proper intervention into the whole mm. family. Mm. So I work very closely with Childline mm. and Child Welfare because they have the qualified staff. Mm. I can answer the simple questions mm. like, mm. Um, you know, cramps and, and what should I eat and, mm. and so on. Mm. But um, the, the tough... The tough questions is why I take a social worker mm. along. Mm. Yeah. How do you distribute them? I'm saying, how do people uh, 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 you get know, their hands oh, You said 150 rand, is that right? 140 rand. Uh, and, and that lasts them a couple of months? F five years. Five years? F five, it lasts five years. We've had the tests done. Yeah. Um, if you can see, here's just mm. samples, you know, of how it's made, etc. Mm. Lots of information on the website. Mm. And please... Um, our landline is not working. Mm. If people want to get hold of me, please, they, they must just email me. Our mm. landline mm. is not working mm. at the moment. But I have a list of schools of, of people who want. I mean, I've got reams. All the schools mm. um, have given me their details. So mm. if a client says to me, um, go to Kuruman, I can just organize that that will go to Kuruman mm. or to the Northwest or uh, you know. You have distribution channels that you can get these to them? If I can't go myself, mm. I use Childline or Child Welfare. Okay.
Yeah, so I like to, to work with, with other NGOs. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously you're empowering people at the same time, yes. assisting to, to, to help uh, uh, make them, so yes. uh, uh, it's a fantastic business model. Yes, yes, yeah. it's, uh, it's been, uh, Peter, it has been the joy of, of, of my, oh, and it's been the joy of my life, I must yeah. tell you, mm -hmm. it's been, and um, the girls get three pairs of panties, because I also discovered that um, some of these girls are so poor they don't have mm -hmm. panties, mm -hmm. And they love these boy leg panties. Mm. I, I think they're quite strange, mm. but the young girls, <laughs> the young girls yeah. love them. Does that come part of that pack? Part of the pack. Mm. They also get a Ziploc bag for soiled goods, mm -hmm. and they get a very, very good instruction sheet. Mm. I was very aware of the fact that there's no point in giving these because the girls don't pay for the pack, say, eh? you know, which is why I'm saying, please send mm. checks, send mm. money mm. today. Mm. I hand them out free, but oh, so I, they don't pay for them themselves. No, no, it's no, not no, as no. If it's a retail product, no, they no, can go no. into a pharmacy. And get well, we, we we're trying to get it into a retail market, but mm. at the moment, I, I'm asking people to pay for the packs, mm. and I'll take it to a school. Mm. But I was very aware that. Um, there's no use in saying, okay, here's a pack, it's yours, it's free, and then asking them to spend you know, uh, um, uh, money cleaning them. Mm -hmm. So the very best way to keep these clean mm -hmm. is the old green sunlight soap block. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. uh, you rub it on. Mm -hmm. And um, as a fabric softener, because these girls have heard you know, of uh, trade names for fabric softeners, which you and I know are too expensive, a natural fabric softener is two tablespoons of coarse salt, so they can rinse it yeah. in. And we've salt tried to do our tests in brackish water, etc., because I know not everybody has access to um, tap water. Mm. The, mm. I know our time is finished, mm. Mm. but the, the, other, the reason why I, these things are so colorful mm. is that the young girls taught me that I must get with it, I must yeah. stop being so must, old, and they love color blocking. Okay. Yeah. So they call Lovely. this color blocking, and it's got to be very colorful, mm. and it's got to be fabulous. Mm. Have you had a good uh, uptake from some, I guess it's the corporates here, their, their corporate social investment plans, uh, looking for new ideas to, to help communities uh, mm. Desperate for this kind of thing. You know, because the the, the company is, is new, we mm. only we've, we've only been going for 19 months, mm. so it's been a bit tough. Mm. And um, thank you, because there are not many men yeah. <laughs> who will interview me. So thank, <laughs> <laughs> so this thank is you. <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, so I, uh, slowly but surely, corporates are coming on board, but by far. The greatest support I've had is from women's groups, church mm. groups, yes, lunch yeah. groups, book clubs, etc., etc. Mm. And I really want them to help me mm. get that mm. thousand out mm. for, for Christmas. Let me give our viewers the details. It's at dignitydreams.com. Uh, that it. is the website. Uh, get on there. If you're a corporate out there and want some corporate social investment ideas, this is a great investment. Um, uh, you can get onto their website, Dignity Dreams. Uh, Sandra, your email, the, you said the landline is down. Yes. They can get the, all the uh, email and the uh, details email and everything. on the yes, website. Yes, If you want to give out my cell number, if we've got mm. time, if you don't have time, I've got, I think I'll be two triple five four nine zero five. That's correct. That's correct. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you're you. You're doing great work, and uh, we appreciate your time, and we appreciate the effort that you're making. Thank you very much. Thanks for So get onto that website. That's so dignitydreams.com.